Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beaming Bunker. Today we're looking at The Devil's Rock. This is from 2011, brought to us by Paul Campon, um, who's done a lot of filmography stuff. Um, that's his primary uh, level of experience before doing this one. Uh, this is the story, it takes place on the Channel Islands uh, on like the eve of D-Day, uh, World War II, for those of you who are completely, completely stupid. Um, and it's two uh, commandos end up on this little island where there's uh, some Nazi outpost, and what they find is more is, is terrifying. Um, for the most part, I think the casting was was brilliant in this. I, th I think that the cast is what really brings this one and makes it shine. You have you have uh, the lead commando uh, Ben played by uh, Craig Hall. Uh, you have the, uh, the Nazi uh, Klaus played by uh, Matthew Sunderland, and then you have um, there's uh, the demon. Uh, is played by uh, Gina Varela, um, and that's pretty much your. That's for the most part, that's your cast for for the for the bulk of the movie. It's these three people, and they interact primarily Ben and Klaus. It's it's the interaction between them, and that's the thing is that you know there's this you know it's it's one of those the Germans have dabbled with the occult, and they have summoned the demon. This is kind of reminiscent of the uh, older uh, film that I liked a lot, which was called The Keep. Uh, kind of the same thing: Germans and the occult, and of course things always go wrong. The Nazis, when it comes to the occult. Something always goes horribly wrong. So, that's why they lost the war. They, they didn't know how to do things properly when it came to summoning demons and that type of stuff. Um, great visual effects, I thought. And, and the level of gore was just insane. And I like the overall idea behind the story and, and the way that it works. Now, I, I will say that it did drag at times. Um, I, I think it could have been tightened up. It would have been better probably about 20 minutes shorter just tighten some stuff up. But I liked the overall uh, feel of the movie. It, 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 it worked really well with the interaction between Ben and Klaus, and then even at times with uh, the, the demon character, um, you know, Bay being that, you know, that temptress, um, but still, you know, her true form is revealed, and it, it's a good, I think a pretty decent, I'm not going to say, like, you know, great, but a pretty decent little horror flick. Um, Scale of one to ten, this is it's because it's not perfect. It's kind of like you have, you know, your own, you know, like you summoned your own demon. Well, great, you can summon a demon, and they're super powerful and tough, and you know they can kill people, and you know, and they she she can look like whoever she wants to. So that's awesome. So if you want to have, I don't know, freaking Audrey Hepburn or or uh, Christina Hendricks in the bedroom, great. Problem is, is that there's a good chance she'll eat you as well. So there's that downside: is that yeah, super powerful. However, one, she's a demon, so that's probably not something you should have summoned in the first place. Two, she might eat you. So if you can get around those two downsides, you know the whole possibly, I may have damned myself for eternity, and I might get eaten. Um, so aside from those, it's great. That's about all I have for this one. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. It was different. That was that was the big thing. It was different than a lot of the stuff that's out there. I mean, as I said, it reminded me of The Keep. The Keep was, you know, 30 freaking years ago. So, I would say check it out. Um, and until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.